Hello everyone, my name is Nathai. I post EV3 Scratch and Python videos to program your EV3 robot. So if you want to stay in touch, please subscribe. In this video, I'm going to teach you how to use the touch sensor by adding it to our previous square program. The first step is creating a new project, which I've already done. The next step is, initialize, in, is uh, initializing your touch sensor. So uh, we can put it as touch, um, touch, sensor equals the touch sensor and then same thing here pour dot but unlike motors instead of a b or c it's gonna be s one well for me it's on port one for you it may be different the next step is initializing the motors so left motor is our motor on port b then right motor is our motor on port C. And then after that, we can create our drive base. So our robot equals drive drive base. And then so which is our left left motor right motor and then wheel diameter which is for me 62.4 and then our axle track which is for me 90 uh Five. So, and the reason these two are turning blue is because you're creating something inside a parameter. The way this program is going to work is that there's going to be a while true and then inside an if statement, which will like act like a wait until. And then in that if statement, there's going to be a touch sensor, which will, there's going to be a touch sensor dot pressed, which will check if the touch sensor is dot pressed. And then once that statement executes, it'll go on to going in a square. And for more information about the touch sensor, you can always go to this user guide over here. So for example, uh, this there it shows all the parameters and the only and the only functionalities of the touch sensor, which is press. Now let's create the actual program. So first we're gonna put a while true loop while. True, which is a forever loop, and then inside that we're gonna put if uh, an if an just an if statement, not an if and else. So if the touch sensor is pressed, touch sensor dot pressed, and then colon, this is gonna break out of the whole while loop and everything. So basically what this does, it does keeps going, this if statement keeps going forever till the touch sensor is pressed. In a nutshell, you can think of this as a wait until. Now the next step is very simple. Just put the square program. While true. And then we put robot.robot.straight dot, robot dot straight for 500. And then robot.turn which is going to be 95, just a little over 90. Now I can see how this program works. I have put a touch sensor on my robot right over here, and I have connected it through Bluetooth. And now I'm going to run it. Okay, now I'm going to run it. It's waiting for me to press the touch sensor, and... As you can see, the turns are not perfect, but that's okay since we're not using gyro. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new.